So guys, have you ever been in a situation where you were asked a simple question, you gave her over-explained answer that was not necessary? You left the situation feeling awkward and asking yourself, why did I say all that? Look at the scenario. Your boss comes to you and asks you what your thoughts are about coming to work three hours later and staying three hours. So basically, you want to change your schedule three hours. First, you tell, um, let me think about it. I talk to my, my spouse. And then we got to think about the kids and the bed and this situation and all that and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. A long over explained answer. Your boss left the situation not knowing your thoughts. It's not clear, it's awkward, you're talking about your kids and bedtime and this and that. It would have been more efficient to just let the person know, hey, I'll get back to you on that answer, I'll let you know tomorrow. They don't need to know the little details and the little things going on in all the situation. Someone bought you a, a shirt. They asked you, how'd you like it? You let, you let them know, well, the shirt was a little short and I got these pair of pants and I wanted to go with these pair of pants. It sucks that I couldn't have an outfit for it and blah, blah, blah. They don't need to know all that. Why do we have to over explain everything? Over explaining comes into play when you don't want to hurt someone's feelings, you're feeling less confident about your answer, and you're unsure and you're seeking justification in that other person. So you don't want to hurt the person's feelings. You're giving them a, a non-clear answer. They will probably be less hurt by you being more direct with them instead of you being wishy-washy because at the end of the day, you're not being direct with them and they don't seek value in that. So basically, over explaining what that does is it hurts your chances of being validated. People don't look at you because your answers are less confident. They don't really hear what you're saying because they, they lose track and they lose interest about what you're saying because the main point of what they're asking you is being washed out with all the information you provide them that's not even necessary. So you're potentially stopping yourself from promotions Stop yourself from engagement, limiting yourself in relationships. You need to start worrying about yourself. And it's not being selfish. The little things that we're doing to try to make other people feel better is actually hurting us. We're always worrying about the other person, but at the end of the day, you gotta worry about yourself because how can you help someone else if you're still lacking in certain areas? And also, it's okay to have a, a back and forth dialogue with somebody, but when you're providing information that's not even necessary and the person loses interest and they're not really following along and you're telling yourself, why am I saying all that? Right there, you have to stop that. You have to be more direct with the person. You gotta be clear. You gotta let them know up front what your answer is. This is not gonna come easy. This is not something you're gonna be able to do overnight. You're gonna have to keep going over this and over this and over this and practicing to become more efficient at it. You're gonna have more opportunities because you'll be more direct with your answer. You'll sound more confident. You'll be more confident in yourself. And in turn, you'll stop seeking justification and validation in that person because you don't wanna hurt that person's feelings or whatever it is. They will appreciate you more and respect you more by you being direct and not worrying about how they may perceive your answer. Also, you know what you're good at. Why are you seeking validation of someone else when you have the answers right in your head? So then when you're coming to that person, your insecurity comes into play. But then when you leave a situation, and you're telling yourself, why didn't you say this? That's the thing. Be okay with the silence. When you're talking with somebody and there's that awkward silence, let it be there. Have you ever been into a job interview? The interviewer asks you a question, you provide them an answer, and it's that dead silence. But what some people do is they keep talking. They keep babbling on about something, intentionally talking yourself out of a job because you kept talking. Be okay with the silence. So don't let that scare you. Don't let that awkwardness bother you. You say your answer. If it's silent, it's silent. That's all it is. Let them ask you another question if it's important. If it's not, they'll either walk away. And guys, I've dealt with this in the past before. There's been times where I was doing something and I got caught off guard by a question. And then I'm doing all this stuff to, to justify what I was saying. And it didn't even make sense. The person walked away like I'm trying to cover up something or I'm lying but it's because I was caught off guard. I wasn't prepared for an answer. So what I started doing was, you know what? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm capable of. So when someone tries to catch me off guard, I don't react. I'm quiet for a second, get my thoughts in order, then I respond. This is how we become better and more efficient and help us get to our goals because you might not be aware that you're doing these things. There's little things that we're doing that's stopping our progress. If you're doing the things that I've been talking about in my series of videos that I do, my Monday motivationals, plus this, and, can, and some things you're working on your own, 
things are going to start happening for you. So let's work on these things and let's get better and let's reach our goals. Let's get to that next step.